Okay, it's episode 28 of Wine, Music, and Games coming at you here. We've got some wine, we've got some music, we've got some games. So hold on to your hats, here they come. So how you doing, honey bunch? I'm doing great. I hope you guys are all doing great too. We're almost at the end of the school year. We're getting there. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been quite the year, and we are very glad that summer is almost upon us, and we hope you guys are glad that summer is almost upon you. Um, if it means that your kids are going to be at home more often, good luck with that. All right? You got it. It's good. You got it. You'll okay? love it. We need a little bit of respite from them, yeah, just so you know. Okay? Yeah. Remember to hit the bell down below and subscribe. Do all of those things. And, of course, remember, you can also... Uh, uh, Help us out on patreon.com slash Garrett's Games if you want to do that as well. So, Shell, we've got two, not one, two wines for us tonight. So what do you got? What's our first one, babe? Well, the reason, maybe we should say the reason why we chose okay. two is because we tasted them together That's true. at a um, wine tasting and we really liked them. Yes. And um, they're from the same uh, winery. Yes. So uh, there is from Honera Vera. Actually, it's from the Gilles family. Um, estates and uh, well, this they're the is importers a, from that's, that's, the, the, that's the Denver, Colorado. Is the oh, really? That I don't they know. brought it in. Oh, maybe Jill Family Estates is from uh, yeah, from Spain as well. Sorry, yeah, I, I don't I mean, know. it said Denver, Colorado. <laughs> that's why know. I saw that. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is vegan wine, too. Just <laughs> 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 that's a real big seller when you're drinking wine. I know. <laughs> um, this was a rose, we thought it was it was nice, we liked it. It is a Tempranillo Syrah blend, yeah. Usually, which we, we don't... tend towards Garnachas, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, when there's some garnachas. other ones that we like too, Pinot Noir right now it happens yeah, to be one of our favorites uh, but this one is nice and if you want you cannot beat the price on this oh my goodness yes this is with you know getting it shipped you know from under an 10. It, it's a, yeah it's under 10 yeah. so it's a really good deal but the one that we really loved is also from Hanera Vera it's a Rueda and it's a Verdejo and a Sauvignon Blanc mix we've all we're always partial to Sauvignon Blancs not always, actually. Sometimes they can be too grassy, some, yeah, or some different. Yeah. Some some regions not as we much tend as to others. Like European or yeah. American Sauvignon Blancs, rather than say the uh, Australian or New Zealand Sauvignon right. Blancs. So it depends on your style and what you like. Right. But this is a really lovely light wine with the tropical tastes and um, apple pear. It's floral. It smells really good. Yeah. And. It's a really nice wine. We yeah. bought a bunch of it because we liked it so much. That's why we can show you a bottle that's actually, actually still full. <laughs> yeah, and also what's really nice about this is look at how beautiful it is. Yeah, I exactly. mean, even the twist off tie, you know, the twist off top. Top. <laughs> yeah, twist, twisty tie, no, twist off top is very pretty. Uh, we are going to actually display these in our house because we think they're quite lovely. We don't buy wine usually just based on the label, but <laughs> we like we this, like a this lot. in and of itself, and then the label is just a bonus. So, yeah, yeah, and so um, we, you know, we bought some more varieties from this. Um, yeah, they may be them. in next week. So check it okay. out. Okay. All right. So time for a little bit of music, and we're going to go classic here. This is mm. Bill Withers. I'm going to take it out of the plastic here. Yeah, you should. Um, Bill Withers, Just As I Am. This is Bill Withers' first album. Um, and in fact, I was reading up on this, and this is a picture of him um, mm. at his previous job. Uh, so he's, you can Aww. see him holding his lunch pail. <laughs> it really is, Just As I Am. I love this album. This is um, with great. Booker T um, doing the arrangements, Booker T. Jones doing the arrangements on here. Um, this is the album that has Grandma's Hands and, of course... Oh. Uh, Ain't No Sunshine, yeah, which is just perfect. so good. It's a perfect album. <laughs> and what I, what I love about this album is that it is so unpretentious. Mm. Um, and, you know, there's, there's a, a song on here um, called Do It Good, which is the last song on side one. And it's basically Bill Withers ruminating on how Booker T told him, you know, when you walk into that studio, just do it good. All right, and, and it's just a wonderful um, album. One of the things that I really like about vinyl and this in this kind of era of streaming and kind of playing just singles is putting on an album mm. forces you in many ways to listen to those cuts especially older pieces where they are actually thinking about uh, the the way an album is laid out and, and it takes you on a journey and so you're exposed to those songs that aren't necessarily the ones that you're going to hear on the radio and stuff so really wonderful album bill withers just as i am Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Beautiful, of yeah. 
All right, and our game this week is one that we just talked about on the podcast here, and uh, it's another draw and draw, guys. It's really, really, really awesome. And that is Patchwork Doodle. This is Uwe Rosenberg, mm -hmm. plays one to six plus players, it says on here, um, and from Lookout Games. Mm. Um, and uh, we've talked about Second Chance a number of times here on the video and on the podcast as well. Mm -hmm. And this does use Uwe's idea yeah. of the polyominoes, but it does it in a different way as, you know, it's got a little tweak to it. So why do you like this one so much, Honey Bunch? Well, first of all, I wasn't sure that I was going to because I'm like, I really, really liked Second Chance. I'm like, do we really need something like it? This is significantly different enough that it's a lot of fun. You I like get that. To significantly different enough. <laughs> that you still want it. You, yeah, you're right, definitely right. going to want it. But you get to fill the whole, you're trying to fill the whole area, which right. is a lot of fun. And um, Which is what you're trying to do in Second Chance. But you're more you try, likely to accomplish than this one. This one you actually score over three different rounds. And yeah. you're trying to, you look at your biggest completely filled rectangle and then look at the square, square within that, multiply that, or square it, and then add a row for each uh, remaining row or column in the rectangle. So you're so trying to get points throughout you know, yes. first round, second round, third round. Right, right. Uh, and so that's going to depend on how you're going to play. It makes yeah. you think about it differently. And it ha uses some of the um, the ideas of Patchwork, the other game that right. he did, yeah, exactly. where you see all of the card options around. Yes, definitely. So you know, okay, so I'm probably, I'm, only two of the cards you won't use. Right. And then there's some special powers and stuff that you yeah, can do too, exactly. which makes it a lot of it, fun it, as well. It, unlike Second Chance, where you're just playing, you, everybody starts, as in this one, with a different unique, unique polyomino right. and then goes from there, just as in Second Chance. But here, because you're going over three rounds, it's kind of interesting how, oh, here's the end of the round, and I've got a score. And it may be that somebody who scores not as good in the first round actually does really well as you go forward mm -hmm. and can take over and and use those special little tweaks and powers to do some really cool stuff so it's nice and fast yes. you know that's also a lot of fun you can yeah. just take it out you could do this even at a you know with your family yeah, at a restaurant five yeah. minutes type of thing 10 minutes you know you, you need to keep people occupied and or you're waiting for some people to show up to play you just play this remember those of you who are making roll and writes or draw and draws Use both sides of the paper, just as this one does. Both sides are printed on. A very good that thing. That is nice. So again, this is Patchwork Doodle, Lookout Games, Uwe Rosenberg. All right, so again, we'll run through our stuff. we got the wines. You can definitely partake in these wines while playing the game. It is quite <laughs> a, a light game yes. with some light wines. Yes. So you might need more than one bottle, too. That's possible. And Bill Withers, just as I am, his first album, wonderful, wonderful music, worth streaming or getting a copy of yourself and then finally uve rosenberg's patchwork doodle you guys have a great week take care of yourselves and we look forward to coming to you next week see you later bye, bye.